The Fire Giant is a fight that isn't the most difficult, but is a big endurance fight, as one mistake can really cost you the entire fight. This fight, that I did at least, lasted 8 minutes, so if you make any mistakes during that 8 minute period, you basically lose, just because this boss has very big one-shot potential. The overall strategy when you start out is you want to attack this ankle, as it, once you do it enough, he'll get like stunned for a moment, and I believe this ankle is just like weaker. Uh, the other one has like this big brace, and that one has like a smaller brace. So go for that one first. My number one tip is you want to make sure that you're close by him, ideally in between his feet, as whenever you go far away, you're going to be more likely to take hits from the shield, or just in general, it's harder to close that distance once he gets far away from you. So make sure to just kind of stick on him. This is what happens whenever uh, he gets a little bit lower. So the bracelet is broken. The strategy remains the same, really. You just want to kind of weave in and out. This boss fight is kind of weird in the sense that I find that it's safer to heal when you're right under him rather than farther away from him. So I don't recommend running away when you need to heal. I think it's better to stay at least out of mid range or like right under him. So that's a new attack. It's just a fireball. And then right here, he makes this little fire orb that will try to home in on you. It's not really hard to uh, to get rid of. It just kind of will go into the ground and explode at some point. But you do have to kind of keep note of those. Um, and this is another one of the attacks that are new. You just want to go ahead and either find a place where you can safely attack while that's going on. Or you just go ahead and retreat for a moment and stay mid-range. And right about here is going to be phase two starting, I believe. A few more attacks. There we go. Okay, so this is phase two. Really not much changes, but my biggest tip is you want to stay behind his feet. The reason behind that is because he does this attack where he rolls on his side. And if you get caught in it, you're dead. You can't really roll it or anything. The only way to really get out of it is just to avoid it happening. So you just want to stay to the back of his foot. Uh, he's missing one leg, so you just want to stay on like the back right. And you basically just uh, wail on him. The fight's not very difficult, but you just need to minimize errors because if you mess up, he will punish you and you will easily die. You can see those fire orbs right there. When you get closer to them, they start to kind of do this like pulsing, uh, as you can see right there. So you do have to be careful, and they do leave some flames for a little bit in that general area. But overall, it's not really threatening. The main thing you want to look out for is this roll, which he might do in a second here. Yeah, right here, right there. So you don't want to get caught in that, and you just want to go straight to his foot again. And you basically just repeat that. That's honestly the fight. Uh, he's just a really tanky guy, and my weapon is only... A plus 19 here so I don't think I'm doing as much damage as I should be doing um, and he I believe is resistant to bleed damage so my build is not very good here but that's really it I'm just gonna let the rest of the footage play because nothing really changes you just stick to the back of his foot and whenever he rolls away you just want to quickly close the distance so that's about it I hope this helps if it did make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one